we sat down with celebrity barber and actor Jig for a few tips on getting our hair cut in the barbershop. So how, how do you like it? This is all about you. Uh, I would like the back to be, um, you know, kind of curvy. You know what I'm talking Holding about? Around. I feel like that looks more um, girly. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, then, and, and then front, I don't know. So I wasn't expecting to cut my front. What do you think? What you mean, cut it? Like, it's about lining up. Oh, okay. I was like... You ever have it lined up before? Yeah, because I used to um, cut my, I had my sides cut, and he used to line the front up. He used to put a hard line on it? Yeah. I could put a soft line to clean it up. Yeah, let's see that. So light. You sure? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I promise. It'll grow back. So what's a soft line up? Soft line is basically the edge is not real, really defined, but it's cleaned up. Can you see the difference between this side and look at her left side? See, she still has hair here, but it's just cleaned up. Same to the back. Women like generally want to know like how can they not look like a man when they get their haircut? What's like the terminology or what should we be asking for when we go into the shop? Well, I think for one, you should basically know what what type of style you want. Mm -hmm. One and just let the barber know straight up. Like, I don't, you know, I want soft lines. You can basically clean me up. I don't want my lines to be very sharp and defined like a man. Mm -hmm. Typically the barber listens and they know that. So it's like, hey, can you feather my line out in the front? Can you not make it so detailed and sharp and just clean me up? Okay. I like that word feathered. Yeah. yeah. And then when girls come in, what is like a usual reaction? Because I remember one time I was coming in before I went to work and my hair cut. I had on my little dress. I got a little, little looks. So I was like, I'm trying to get my hair cut, man. Oh, really? I mean, you can, you know, you can take that as a compliment if you want. Girl. You know, I mean, you got to think about it. The majority of the barbershops have is. is Majority of our, our field is 97% men. Right. And we're around men all day, so we get a chance to see a woman walk in. It's just like, ah, it's just a little treat for the day. Right. A little cameo. Even, even, even if, you know, a little eye candy. Mm -hmm. Even if you married, uh, got a girlfriend or something, you know, you're not trying to take her home or date her. It's just like, ah, that was refreshing for the day. It breaks right. up the monotony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake, since you're a celebrity barber, mm -hmm. like, who's some of your favorite people to cut? Trey Songz, Chris Brown. Ooh, okay, we got some connects here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris Brown, okay, let me check. Yeah, he's pretty dope. Down to earth. Yeah, he's real nice. Yeah, yeah, he's real nice. What does he, like, usually get when, like, when you cut his hair? Uh, he's all over the place. He's all over the place? It's, it's all depending. He, he can tell me one thing while he's in the air, and then when he lands, it's like he wants something totally different. That's Which is cool. cool. It keeps me on my toes to be a, as a creator. Right. Thanks for the phone call. Yeah, I still feel kind of guilty about not being there when they got him. Couldn't let him go out like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna stop now before they start talking. Oh, let them talk. And then you're not only a barber, you had some some acting going on on the game. How'd you get in that? Oh uh, yeah, that was a that's a cool cool story, especially for my uh, for my family or whatever. So um, I got hired back in 2009 when they brought the game to Atlanta, and. Um, I got hired as a barber to uh, be in charge of all the male talent that comes through. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, that same week I got uh, discovered by the executive producer, which is the director of the show, Salim McKill. Uh, he said I would look good on camera. Asked me would I 
have a problem with um, being on camera. He asked me first. I was like, doing what? They told me, like, you'll be one of the characters, uh, security guard. I was like, okay, I'll do it. True Hollywood fashion, they got me fitted for a suit. And the next day I was in front of the camera. So you were Malik's security guard? Yeah, Malik's bodyguard, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember that. That was good. You did good in that. Yeah, thank you. The character actually grew. Mm-hmm, because you were on a couple episodes, right? Yeah, yeah. When, it went from one uh, episode to six seasons now. What? You still yeah. the security guard? Yeah. I'm sleep, bro. I'm yeah. sleep. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm slipping. I uh, started in the unisex a lot. Mm -hmm. So women would always come and get their lips uh, lined up, a little shape up, and then get their eyebrows done. You do eyebrows? Listen, I, I listen. A lot of women love a barber to do their eyebrows. Really? They had the little Omarion cuts too? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you know, we used to have the lines right here. Oh, no, oh, no. Nah. I haven't seen <laughs> women do that in a long time. Um, a lot of people go, like they say, they go in a different direction, but I usually go in one. What do you think, Jade? Um, I think it's best if you go in one direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> 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 to the music group, but yeah, I think you should go in one direction and look more uniform. Right. Now, if you want another type of look, you just want it to be a messy look, mm -hmm. you could go all over. I typically like to add some moisture to the sponge though. Me too. I mean the sponge too? What? I mean, why your hair? Well, I'm here, mine is well. I'm telling you, they got me. <laughs> Triple threat, it's a lined up, <laughs> sponge, eyebrows. It's lit. It feels great. <laughs> feel like a princess. <laughs> you are, you are. Oh, thanks. Men have their own sets of issues that yeah. they deal with too. A yeah. lot. A lot. I'm just glad that the market has changed. Well, it's changing now, whereas though we're not going in a medicine cabinet or under the, the sink to use your products. Now it's like we have a whole set of products marketed towards us. Mm -hmm. Shampoo, conditioners, it wasn't like that before. It's like, yo, go get that swab. <laughs> <laughs> How often do people say you remind them of Rick Ross? Uh, they say more so. I mean, they don't really tell me I look like Rick Ross a lot, you know? They <laughs> mostly say Denzel, you feel me? <laughs> like, watch that. Remember Denzel in Training Day? You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> No, a whole lot. This is crazy. <laughs> I get it like, I have to block it out sometimes. Love his music, cool dude, met him before. Been a barber since I was 11 years old. Wow. One pair of clippers. My aunt brought me down south. Cause I'm from Philly, so I would always go to uh, North Carolina to see my grandmother for the summer. So I didn't want no one cutting my hair. So my aunt brought me a pair of clippers. Cut my hair myself in the bathroom, two mirrors. What? The rest was history. Ooh, Let me know what you think. I love it. I love my size. Yeah, That's I know. so cute. I 